I harvested uh, the coriander from, from this clutch uh, about four weeks ago. Uh, at the time it had regrown, it has. It needed a bit of watering under the warmth of that clot. Well, uh, a very tasty coriander. That um, garlic there, those garlics there, we're going to uh, we'll harvest soon. Uh, these um, salad leaves have been going, uh, we're planted in August and I've uh, been eating them all over the winter. No, practically no clutches, but there are clutches here. They're protecting peas, and in the background, that's for a courgette. There are some perennials here. This shows with the perennial seed beet. It will, it will, every year it will shoot up. Just cut it back, and it will start fresh leaves like that. Remember, um the name of this uh, nitrogen fixer but I got it at Pan Global Plants. As you can see there's, um, these peas here have been under these bell clutches and I've uh, got three types. We've got, got sweet golden sweet, uh, rosachrome which has got a salmon pink flower and your good old Calvadon wonder. This is a nine star perennial broccoli. I know it looks like a cauliflower, but it's not. It's a, it's a perennial broccoli, which means it goes on from year to year. Probably about five years old, but I keep it, taking cuttings and starting new ones. Um, this is, uh, it looks like a cauliflower curd, but it, it isn't. Now, side shoots. So we've got some appearing here. And, uh, else so um which makes it a broccoli uh anyway uh, i think probably another week and then i'll um i'll start picking uh, these are um uh, cardoons they were uh, given to me by uh, an italian uh, friend of mine i've grown it for years they uh, they eat this um quite a lot in italy Battered, I'm told. Um, the uh, it's a uh, it's a dwarf uh, variety. It's not like the um, cardoons you see in giant um, in um, Victorian uh, country gardens. Um, so I've had these a year. I've been cropping them intensely. And you can, if you can see the uh, you take the take the leaves, strip them down, and if you're going to um, Batter them, you boil them for a bit, get rid of the bitterness. There is a certain bitterness, uh, but I do think it's slightly different now. Uh, this is um, a cardoon I've had for about five years. Uh, I basically um, have it as an ornamental, but what I'm going to do is, um, is cut because the leaves are bigger. I'll cut this one and I'll show you how to uh, prepare it for, um, for eating. Uh, excuse the weeds, uh, this is a, a shady corner I don't really ever go into. So. Um, Anyway, I'll crack on with that. This is the leak we're going to take. Um, I'll try not to sting myself on the stingers. Bear with me. We'll just cut it down, down near the base. The thicker bit is what you want, really. That's not a, a particularly big. Um, Leaf, but uh, I mean it's early in the year. Later on, you'll be getting these massive leaves. But I'm going to show you how to process it. Uh, this is um, this is a cardoon. It's hardly, hardly worth eating. Later on in the, in the year, you'll have uh, bigger leaves. And I'll show you just for illustration purposes. Show you how to. Um, process it. What you want to do is get off the um, there's ribs along here and the, the, the leafy bits along the edge. You're after the, it's a bit like celery. It doesn't taste like celery, but it's got the chunkiness of celery. Good in soups like celery. But it's slightly bitter. But, um, yeah, and no, just run your knife along the edge. Yeah, no. It's more of a vegetable than a, than a leaf. Yeah, 
something like that. Obviously you want one twice this size. And then you've got these little little strings, like just like celery. Except celery you wouldn't take it off, but the Italians they take off the off the strings. So just run your knife and pull the string along. It's a bit like doing a runner, the old fashioned runner bean. But make sure you try and keep the body of um, the vegetable for eating. Just try and get, the, get as much off as you can. Peeling potato is very easy to get rid of half the half the vegetable when you're peeling it. So that's um, so what, what I then do. Um, it's not what the Italians do. But what I what I do is then cut it into into strips and then bun them in stews and stuff. Sort of like uh, like you would with a carrot, you know that sort of, that sort of that sort of size. And a nice little uh, nice texture. Yeah, yeah, good little vegetable, and it's perennial. Keeps going uh, in your garden forever. So. Um, well, you can take cuttings from and start again, but um, yeah, that's cut. That's processing and cutting. <laughs>